All right, next thing we're gonna do, a little bit tad different. We're gonna, do, we're gonna um, size two to four diameter projectiles. Um, you don't really need your tube feeder because uh, since we're gonna be putting a gas check on these, I have not come up with any kind of way to speed this process up. Um, we'll just take our tube feeder off. We won't need it. Also, we can take our little top piece off on here. In fact, we don't even need our spring. We can just take our slider completely off. Just pull my cotter pin out. Take that spring completely off. And what we have here is the uh, Lee 224 bullet sizer. I'll just put it in from the bottom. I never even took the uh, thumb ring off of it for when I use it on a different press. I just put that in there like so. Torque it down. Use the 224 bullet pusher. Put it in the shell holder. It goes in the top. Make sure we got our spline bushing torque down. And the only really way, good way I know how to do this is to take a bullet I will be using copper gas checks I got these from Sage's um, pretty good price um, usually I would make my own but since I don't have a 22 uh, um, gas check maker all I have is 308 well use these basically you just press it on flat place it in your um, die we'll just press down I already had one in here because basically the way I have it set up uh, I could take this thumb ring out and it would push it all the way through but Basically, it just puts one in, another one stays in there while pushes another one out. And we'll put on another gas check. Just sit these on there like so. And you want your gas check to be straight on your bullet. If it's sitting wompy jawed like that, it won't um, sit flush on there. Alright, there we go. Now it's on there flush. We just drop it in there like so. And just straight down, just like it would if you was um, putting it on the breech lock press where it would come up from the bottom. But this way it just falls straight through and you don't have to worry about um, boogering up your nose of your bullet pushing the other ones back up so we'll just go through and do a bunch of them make us some 223 bullets All right. press on a gas check pretty much just like a lubes lubricizer Now we have us a gas check 223. Alright guys, I figured I'd show you. Get a pretty good rhythm going on this. Drop them in, press them right in. I think it's a whole lot better than having to try and align the bullet sitting on top of the um, little pusher going up through the bottom.
say once you get the feel for it. Got pretty decent. Okay, make sure you get them all square. Turn out pretty good. And they turn out pretty good. Little 55 grain gas check Lee um, 224 bullet ready to load up, take the range and test. The hardest part is getting these little small gas checks on here. But like I said, it makes a nice little 55 grain gas check bullet. And these things when they open up, they flatten out to about the size of a dime. Alright, I'm gone.